Hi, I'm Larry with Redbud Soil Company. I help educate customers and teach them a little bit about regenerative agriculture. I got started in Washington State learning a little bit about growing cannabis and eventually it molded into uh, going through the Soil Food Web School with Dr. Elaine and just learning a lot about different microbiology and how to regenerate soil and bring the health back to soil. A compost tea extract is when you're extracting the microbiology from the parent material of your compost. You're not actually adding any food, just extracting the microbiology from the compost. The difference between a compost tea extract and an actively aerated compost tea is with a compost tea extract, you're just extracting the, the microorganisms from the parent material ultimately, while a aerated compost tea, you're adding food uh, and making the microbiology become active. And it takes a lot longer than a compost tea extract does. So the pros and cons of uh, compost tea extract. So let me give you the cons first and then I'll do the pros. So with the cons of a, of a compost tea extract, uh, it doesn't happen as fast as what you would see the results in a brewed and actively aerated compost tea because the microbiology isn't truly active yet. It's just loose in that extract. It's, it's free in the extract. Uh, so it takes them a second to become active uh, when they reach the soil. Uh, now the pros of a compost tea extract is say you don't have a microscope. It's a lot easier to say, hey, this is the microbiology I'm looking for. Uh, of course, there's still an asterisk next to that. A microscope is best. But you, with a brewed compost tea, you know, when you feed food and air, over time, microbiology reproduces so fast in an actively aerated compost tea with food that although you're pumping air, that tea brew is now anaerobic. It's almost as if a million people were in a 200 square foot room, we wouldn't have the oxygen to live. Uh, so that's, you know, a problem. But with a compost tea extract, you don't have that. It's a lot faster to create than a actively aerated compost tea. Uh, and it takes, it's a lot less steps there too. So you can do it at home without any extra uh, fancy equipment or anything. You just need a tea bag, and a bucket and water in your compost, your parent material, and you're great. When using a compost tea extract, it's really good to use it maybe before you plant or after you plant in terms of re helping regenerate your soil, bringing, uh, bringing life back into your soil. Uh, it doesn't hurt to use them throughout the cycle or whatever you know you're growing. It doesn't hurt, but the key is to soil drench that. And again, it takes a little bit longer. I personally would want to use it before I get anything started, just to give anything I plant a nice little boost of having more microbiology available to it. Uh, yeah, any ultimately any time. So the best compost to use for a compost tea extract or any compost situation in general would be to use a biocomplete compost, meaning that compost has Dr. Elaine's certain standards of microbiology within, the, within that compost. So that would be the best, a true diverse compost in terms of the microbiology world. The benefits of using a biocomplete compost is when a plant, whatever plant you're growing, it puts out an exudate, meaning a simple sugar, a simple protein, a simple carbohydrate. Uh, it exchanges that exudate with microbiology and having a biocomplete compost means when a plant puts out that extra or the exudate, it's being answered by the right organism, microorganism. So that way, when a plant says, hey, I want this or I want that, it's not putting out that extract and it's, the call isn't going unanswered. When, it, when you have biocomplete compost and a plant puts out an ex exudate, uh, it will be answered by the good guys. And that's why you need to make sure you have a biocomplete compost because it has 
it's, it's full of microbiology and the correct organisms that you need in your soil, your compost, to make things tick and thrive. All right, so today we're gonna show you guys how to make a compost tea extract in our future garden. Uh, so first, before we really get started, we gotta go over a little bit about the materials that we need. Uh, in my hand here, I have a paint strainer bag. Uh, ultimately, you need to make sure the hole sizes are 400 micrometers in diameter, but ultimately, just get a paint strainer bag, make it easy on you. Uh, any sort of scoop that you like uh, to make your job easier. Uh, and then finally, we'll need some BioComplete compost, and we'll need some water, uh, specifically dechlorinated water, uh, water that doesn't have chlorine, chloramine in it. Uh, that way, you're not killing your microbiology and putting yourself behind before you even get started. Uh, so speaking of that, let's go ahead and get so started. So first, we're gonna get a scoop of our BioComplete compost. Uh, now again, we've checked this compost with a microscope. It meets all the standards that we need. Uh, however, it is a little bit big, but it's good in terms of the microbiology. Now, you wanna just get a little bit of compost, of course, depending on the size uh, the amount of water you're trying to give everything, the size area you're working with, all of that kind of matters about how much compost you should use. Uh, but I'm just going to just make it easy, get a couple scoops of your BioComplete compost. If I can get it in the bag. Now you want to make sure you have some room in the bag because if it's too full, water won't be able to move throughout this bag and separate the microorganisms from the parent material. So it's very crucial that you have some extra space in this bag. Now to get things saturated, just dunk it a little bit. Uh, now this water here is a little bit cold. You preferably would want ambient temperature water, uh, but sometimes you gotta work with what you got. But you know, dunk, dunk your compost extract just a little bit to get it saturated. Now it's really crucial that you're not massaging this bag. You just wanna, Get some water working through it. Use the water and make your own kind of pressure to move the microorganisms off of the parent material. Now again, you're not, you're not massaging the bag. It's really crucial you don't do that because you don't want mud and a lot of extra stuff in, this, in your extract. You just want the microorganisms. So again, you're gonna dunk it, kind of work some water through it. And this, you only need to do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, to be honest. Uh, and really, that's so that's about it. The cool part about a BioComplete extract is you can take your extract and put it right back into that compost, right? Because then you can use this, throw it into your compost pile you're hopefully building at home, and then keep it moving. And you're done. That's it. So now what we'll do is we'll take this extract right here and we're gonna water all of our plants with that. And that's that's a, one of the easiest way to get the microbiology into your soil at a good cost and really just making things work the best way possible. Mm -hmm. 